Paradise City and the grass <laughs> is green. Chico, you ready? Lights! Blah, blah. Lights, are you ready? Move, move, move. This is a good one today, too. I'm excited for this one. We got a cool early bird. There's some new birds in the nest, and I feel like it's right that you guys should check them out first. You know how we do things. We run you through the shoes, show you the details, give you release dates, and then at the end, we give you our opinion for each shoe. I'm looking down at these shoes right now, mm -hmm. and I low-key would probably take each one. I would too. That's for certain I'm getting two out of the three. So here's the thing. I don't, have we ever been able to say that about a complete early bird? No. Like, I'll take every single one. Never. This will be the first time that I can strongly agree with every single shoe on the floor as far as just fitting how I like shoes as mm. far as whether colorways or the silhouette. materials used or the silhouette. Let's jump right into it. Which one do you want to do first? So I want to do what we always do. Go novice to expert. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I was gonna go the other way. Boom, boom, boom. But like I just straight across. So here's here's my thing. I was gonna go the other way. I was gonna go. This is this is men's and women's are gonna love this one. They are, but they're not gonna be able to. All the men can't wear it. Maybe that's why I'm biased right now. So we're gonna go, we're it. gonna do my way this time, man. That one. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, let's go. I'm down with it. Let's go. Jumping right into the stage haze, Jordan, one. One things you really need to look at this off the jump is going to be the cracked black leather on the toe and on the upper. Now the black cracked leather on here is gonna be the same as the Amma ah Meniere. Yeah, it looks it's, just like it. Now it doesn't feel- It doesn't feel the same. As cracky, you know like why? it's like a rough material. It's cause the Amma's ah are suede. So it's gonna have the same cracks all the way around and anything that you see black and it looks really nice. Cracked. Look. It's even cracked on the check. If you look, the check mm. is also cracked as well. Mm. This is how you do quality control sometimes. Yeah. You just go ahead and give it a little push in and if you can see the indention in with your finger, it lets you know that's that how you know some good leather. Well, you can see all the little, the little, yeah, little, little spider webs, the cracks, and everything yeah. that goes with it around that, your that's finger. That's my test. That's some good leather right there. Good leather. Now, aside from the cracked leather, yeah. it's got the suede on the back, and this yeah. is actually some good suede on the heel. Yeah. If you look closely, it's some nice suede. They're giving us all sorts of materials on this, right? My favorite part about this is the main three colors: black, white, and gray. Right. They go with everything. Mm -hmm. And then they got a hint of coral on the actual tag on the Look. tongue as well as yeah. inside. Imagine it's almost like a SB dunk, yeah. like an old dunk. And anything else inside of there? No, just nah. a simple little Nike Air, as you can see on the insole. Nice little pink to go with it. Um, the description, it said coral. Yeah. It looks more pink to me. Coral's gonna be more of a darker, pink. a deeper pink. I think. But this one's kind of, I mean, look at the sole. It's kind of, yeah. e it's Easter-ish. It's super, very Easter-ish. This silhouette and this colorway, this is nice. It reminds me of like an upgraded Baron. You remember the Barons? The Barons wow. had like a, 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 a little drawn out of yeah. just the same yeah. color spread out even around it. More gray was but on it the look, it, This looks like like they really took like like you were saying a black toe, right? Yep. And then just swapped out the back two colors through the cracking on it, mm -hmm. right? Bro, look at the just look right here. Yeah, look at that part. Look good. at the leather right there. Yeah, look at that. It's good. It's good leather. This it's is leather. awesome. Hey, I'm not gonna Very give. I'm, I'm not giving it shattered backboard leather. No, no, no. Level, but not you know. I mean, the next one we're gonna show, or the yeah. last one we're showing you, is comparable yeah. to shattered leather. Yeah, but I, I don't call. You know what I call the worst kind of leather? Mm. McDonald's leather. Damn. That's like the bottom of the barrel Mickey leather. D That's leather? Mickey D leather. It doesn't have Mickey D leather, but it's got, and it doesn't have shattered backboard leather, but it's somewhere in between, you know? So, would you rock it? I'd rock it, for sure. I would definitely rock it. This definitely should join my lineup of shoes. Yeah. And I just feel like it's easy to rock with. You know what I think? And I really like this black crack. They and I didn't like it. I didn't like it on the All Mom Air 1. They gotta give you a... Uh... Coral, coral laces, laces right? They for sure, should. they gotta give you coral If they laces. don't give you coral laces, then something's wrong, but something's usually up. the hint on the tag, sometimes they rock with the lace to go with right. it to pop for it sure. out. For sure. So definitely a cool shoe, and the release date on this one? It's May 14th. So May 14th. Now I will say this, Scott, uh -huh. since we got coral hits on this, yeah. it's only fair we go into another pink yeah. hit, right? Yeah, definitely gotta jump into the same pink on pink, you feel me? Let's go. This one is my is favorite yeah. shoe out of what we're showing y'all today. This is the Atmosphere Jordan 3, also known as the Neapolitan. And I don't really need to explain why <laughs> yeah, this is the Neapolitan, but I'm going to anyways. You have the mocha hits on the heel and the toe, along with the pink and the vanilla, AKA cream, cream. 
cream sole. And then collectively, all three together is what? Neapolitan ice cream. Neapolitan ice cream. Now, I love what they're doing with the white and cream colors contrasting next to each other because it allows me to throw fits way easier with a cream. lot of the cream that I have. I can wear white with the cream and not feel like I'm pushing trying to match the two together. Right, right. And I've talked about that before in one of the early birds, but I think that was actually the one on SneakerCon that I talked about with Common Hype. So we haven't even talked about that before in ours. And you're noticing they're coming out with a whole lot of vintage shoes. We got the navy. Oh, there's a vintage wave going right the, now. That, and this has to be part of that, right? This is the reason they're doing it's this. Be. Well, they started it off with the dunks. Yeah. They went ahead and did it once with the navy blue, yep. which I feel like was the first one. I think. And then they did the overseas gray one. That was oh, no, winners. that was the first one. That was the first one. Sail bone. Sail bone, Sail bone. was the first one. Then they did the vintage the navy. Vintage. Now they're doing a green one. Vintage part. They we got, got the those. black high. Yep. So there's black a bunch of different high. ones coming out right now. Now it's coming over Jordan. The thing about this one, though, is this one's fitting to male and female. Yeah. But what's really weird about this is it looks like it belonged to a different shoe in the beginning because it had the red hit on the bottom. That's just the classic Jordan 3 red hit on, you got think so? You got the pink little hit on the Jordan logo, along with the pink little lace holes And this is as strawberry well. pink, it's not coral pink, no, right? This is, this some, is this strawberry. This is some Easter pink. Easter pink. Pink. Easter pink. And then the insole as well is going to be pink. Now I love how they did the sole brown, pink, and white as well, but I really love just the brown sole in general on this shoe. Like this reminds me of something Travis would do, yeah, right? Yeah, something Travis like, this would do. This is a Travis looking, he definitely. does the pink laces, he does the brown. Definitely the some uh, Travis inspiration yeah, on the shoe for yeah. sure. This is going to be the number one shoe out of the three we're showing y'all today that I in fact want and need. And I posted it on my Instagram yeah. and everybody in fact wants yeah, yeah. and needs yeah, this, this shoe. Especially the right females. Now. But Downfall, this is a women's exclusive. They might do extended sizes. We don't know yet. And that typically they can go do it. Now, sometimes it goes up to 14 and a half, but sometimes it also only goes up to yeah. 12. I so don't, it I, depends. In my mind, I don't see him doing it. Because when they Honest. dropped the UNC to Chicago women's release, I went up to 14 or 15. It's usually, I feel like it's just Jordan 1s that they do the extended sizes. If they do any other kind of shoe, then they stop, they it, stop they at 12 it. W, yeah. Because okay. so the tie dyes got capped off at 12, the Jordan 1s yeah. though. I honestly don't know how they decide which is which. I don't know. But, Ian, you might not make the cut. I might not make the cut. I'm with, sorry. I, and I'll, I'll make the cut. Just I make like, the cut every time. Just like you said, you like this shoe as your number one. My number one's the other one. The one we're about to show next? Yeah, that's my number Okay, one. That that's my number two. I believe it. But that's just because I wear that color more than anything. Yeah, so you already and have one shoes that color. The freaking quality on this thing yeah. is crazy. Crazy. That's that's what I like. So this is a must cop for me, and if it comes in your size, oh, I 100 percent will cop this. Okay. Remember, I've been talking about on every episode how I need a mocha. All Give right. me this. Fair if enough. I can't get this, I'll get a mocha. My DMs, all the ladies are about to be blowing my DMs up here for this yeah. one. So, <laughs> all right, next, you ready? Yep. But we have the yellow toe, and this is the first time. I mean, they did it in a mid, yeah. but this is the first time in an AJ1 high yeah. that they've done. The white and the black with the yellow correctly. Mm -hmm. The pollen was mm -hmm. not done it was, correctly. They didn't do it right. Because they didn't they do this white coming. right here. They knew this is coming. Okay, is that what you think yeah, it was? Yeah, they knew this is coming. This is by, this jumps over the pollen to me, no matter what, yeah. because of the white hit in the center. Just look at the leather you see on the side panel. This is what we call all the time shattered, shattered backboard, backboard leather. You know? It's, it's definitely equivalent. And I feel like after the shattered backboards, it's almost like an end of an era in a yeah. sense. Like, of course, four years later, they dropped the pine greens and the core purples, and then five years later, they dropped the obsidian. Yeah. But there was just like that gap where there just wasn't a lot of great quality AJ1 leathers coming and out. And then that came back. And then now we're well, back. Well, it's because they started doing the remastered program to try to bring good leathers back, and then they were charging everybody. They were hitting everybody over the head. Well, not only that, but More money. people thought the remastered leather was worse because it didn't look like this. Yeah. But what they need to understand is remastered leather is equivalent to what real leather feels yeah, like. Exactly. And real leather feels has that tough. Like yeah. like the reverse from the uh, All Star pack. from the 85 pack. Yeah. Like you look at it and you're like, why does this cost more? And yeah. why does it not look as good? Well it's like, well the quality's actually there. Yeah. You just can't tell the difference from the Mickey D leather yeah, to yeah, that yeah. leather. 
And All I'm so, saying is this shoe is going to be a problem. Yeah, this is going to be a movie. This is a problem. So not only that, but if you look around, just even on the toe, the toe box has good this leather. The whole shoe, even bro. on the upper, the upper the has upper good is net, leather. It feels like a like, shattered backboard, bro. Like you can literally squeeze it right here and you can see the bro, quality on this there. This feels like a shattered backboard to me. White tag, just a pop on the sole in the mid with the yellow hit, super fire. Any different color insole or is it still the same? Uh, nope, yellow insole. Yellow, yeah. So yellow. if you look in here, you got the yellow insole as well as the yellow sole. This is a muscat banger. Muscat. This is a muscat. Muscat. I have to. Do have you this. think the Neapolitans or the yellow toe is gonna go harder? You okay, heard the way we look, just by, the look, about by the look of that, apparently he thinks the yellow toe is gonna it's go harder. Even, it's not even a question. In my opinion, bro. it goes yellow toe. Or in my opinion, it goes Neapolitan yellow toe and the stage haze. Yeah, no, I feel you. I, what's your what's your rotation? It's a great shoe. It, like Neapolitan atmosphere is a great shoe, but like this is like it's like a different for like, everyone that knows. I wear this Laker gold all the time, so yeah. this is gonna be one of my favorite. I wear this color more than anything. You just throw this into. This is two pairs. But not, two pairs. not only that, but the pollen didn't have enough white. And if no. everyone knows, I throw better fits all around when there's more white on a shoe. Right. So by adding this white midsole right, or this mid right here in the white, that literally seals the deal for the entire shoe as to why I think this shoe is better than the pollen. Yep. Of course, the leather as well. So I'm going Neapolitan, yellow toe, stage. I'm what going, are you doing? I'm going yellow toe. Neapolitan atmosphere, then stage haze. Okay, that's what I'm doing. And of course, the real question for you guys is, which one are you doing? What's your order? I want to know. And I want to know why that's your order. Yep. And uh, that's all the birds in the nest today. Yep. We'll catch you guys on another episode. Ah!